Hi everyone, I'm mom Sandra. And son. Good to see you all. Um, yay, Ben is here. It's been a few weeks uh, since you've been here. Uh, and we just wanted to uh, take this time to wish everybody a happy holiday. And we just wanted to briefly talk about the holidays um, as a loved one and as someone who has a substance use disorder and what it's like. Uh, we know it's a really tough time of year and, um, you know, it's it's just, it's really tough. Every day is tough, but coming, you know, there seems to be a lot of pressure with holidays and, and being with family and stuff. And, and a lot of people don't get to see their family, um, which is really sad. So um, as a loved one, I just want to address, I know the, the challenges and I feel you. And um, all I can say is I know it's difficult you know, if you do buy gifts, what kind of gifts to buy and stuff. Um, for me, you know, Ben, whether he likes it or not, I don't give him money. I try to get him things that you could use. Um, yeah. And even just being yeah. together is a gift. Right? Yeah, yeah. Not everybody always sees it like that, though. Some people just want their shit. And yeah, I, I know, I know. That's... It's a sad story. It's <laughs> the case of it. I try to be grateful for my my experiences. You know, I'm one that has always kept my card throughout my life. Kept your what? Cards. Your cards. Everybody gets oh, rid of the cards. Your Christmas cards. cards. I've okay. kept. I don't know. I don't have them all anymore. But if uh, I've lost them, some throughout moving and whatnot. But right. I've oh, kept nice. a lot of my cards. Like. Oh, that's nice. Just because you know, like. It shows yeah. that it means something to you. Yeah, just card is a card, yo. Even if all you get is a card, yo, keep that fucking card, yo. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know. And, you know, I know uh, the holidays are tough for you, Ben. You've yeah. talked about it in the past. I've touched upon it in the past and how sometimes I, when holidays come up, it's like I'm afraid that I'm not going to see it, live to see it, or it will be my last holiday that I live, mm. or whatever, or I won't, you know, and experience so how do you feel today about holidays yeah this year's been a better year so uh i'm not so concerned about this one but seeing another holiday well maybe i always have my doubts for seeing another one right or another birthday or holiday year or whatever celebration we'll say right yeah so you know and as a loved one, like, uh, you know, I know it's it's tough, but I, I still set my boundaries. And I've talked about this before because we did get together with uh, your cousins the, uh, the other week. And it's okay to set your boundaries still. Just because it's the holidays, we still need to work our program and do what's right for us. And, you know, and if it's important to Ben, he'll follow through. And it was. Like last two weeks ago I said well I need you to take a shower put clean clothes on and and be clear and so yeah uh, yeah fucking yeah it was good on to the dinner yeah you know I tried to make an effort I don't know I, I used to miss a whole bunch of gatherings and occasions and so I'd be messed up or I'd just tell my family I don't want to go I don't want to go or they like, come on, man. And I'm like, I'll just strong on them into not calling us out. They can't grab me and force me yeah. and drag me. You know, fuck. You know? Yeah. So I used to do that. And now I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I just feel like, you know, even though, you know, I still try to go to them nowadays, I still <laughs> feel like they're ruined. I feel like I ruined my life. Like, it's fully ruined and there's never a comeback. Oh, that's not true, Ben. There is a comeback. I feel like it's just always forever going to be ruined. I'm forever going to be labeled as an addict. I could be 10 years clean and everyone's still going to not see that. And they're going to make, oh, hide this, hide that. Or, oh, look who's coming. Oh, shh. But, hey, Ben, man, you, know, you know, I like, respect that's how you feel. But I want you to say that, you know, I, you know, I totally respect that's how you feel. Uh, number I'm one pretty, I'm, I can almost with 100% but, certainty say that's going to happen but until you get clean and work a program or you know come into recovery that'll change everything that changes everything mm -hmm. I mean right now you know I know a lot of people appreciate hearing from you because they have a lot of they have a loved one like like you a son or a brother or a father um, you know or a friend even 
so it's nice for people people appreciate hearing what you go through because not everybody shares that and so for me I just pray that one day you choose recovery and you choose to get clean because that will make a difference there are many many and I want to share this with people out there there are many success stories there are people that I know that were users for like 30 years and they've been clean for 10 20 and they've made a difference so there is hope where there is breath there is hope so Ben you know right now this is where you're at today um, and that's how you're feeling and nobody can argue with what you're feeling but when you change things change I know for us when I started changing things yeah. started changing you know yeah I know but I just I, it's hard for me to have faith that things will go back to the way they were Ben they, they never will they never will never will ben, things go back to the same you know I believe I feel like hope is lost for even me having a reason to get clean I feel like I don't even have a reason to get clean. Um, okay. You know, um, I just know that we travel some rocky roads, and some rocky roads can bring you to beautiful, amazing places. Uh, so, uh, anyway. Um, I, don't know. I just, I just, I just want, I just want, like, just not to be not looked necessarily down upon but just not overlooked you You know what I mean by that you don't want to be overlooked as in like when people look at me they see me judge or look different you know even people don't want to manage judge technically they said nobody will judge but we we Evolve to the judge. You have to judge. So everybody judges whether they like it or not. Everybody does. I do. Everybody does. You know, we all say we don't, but so you, you kind of do. You just don't express it. But then, like, when I'm at gatherings, you know, sometimes you just, yeah, they still talk to you, whatever. You can tell they're, like, hesitant or they don't. They're doing it just didn't seem no more because it's awkward. Or you can tell they don't really, like, you know, just it's not right. It doesn't feel normal. Well, Ben... In These get overlooked. You know, they overthink it. I, I gotta say, I, I can understand that you feel that way. You know, I get it. But <laughs> you, you need to understand what other people have seen. Yeah, I know. And it takes a while for people to heal from past yeah, I feel experiences. Like some people say you never heal, but so... But you do heal. You know, you do heal. Well, I'm one that says time heals all wounds, but... That's right. But no, I just, I don't know. Oh, that's I just okay. have no faith that people are treating me back. But Ben, you won't know unless you try to Wait change. 10 fucking years of being clean and maybe no, you'll treat me ben. Cl- fucking the same. Like, uh, come on. I don't, don't want to wait 10 years for fucking something. Just look at me with regular respect. Okay, Ben. You know what? We earn people's respect. And we can't change others, but we I'm can change ourselves. To. No, but what I'm saying is... I worked on changing myself so that I could live my best life and live my truth. And when I started doing that, everything around me changed. So you have the power to change you and all that other stuff will evolve. Um, but anyway, we can continue this. I just, I don't know. So. I just don't, I just don't want to wait. You know, I have to, but like. <laughs> It's just like I know you don't become an addict overnight or whatever, and you can't. You you want. It's harder to gain respect than to lose it, and once you lose it, you never get it back. You do get it back, Ben. Not as much as you had before. Okay, but you know, which is proving my point on how no one's gonna see me the same or ever treat me close to as if nothing happened. All right. I could be twenty years clean. And still, they will okay, still ben, have that in there. Can I just interrupt you? One day at a time is what we need to do. One day at a time. We can't go 20 years down the road. First of all, you need to get clean and start working your program. And then let's have this conversation again. Like, I, when I, like, like I've, like, like, yeah, I still have, like, a beer or something. But, like, it's just, it's just it's awkward, you know? It's like, I don't drink really anymore. Now my stuff is other stuff. But like, 
you know, I like to enjoy like a glass of wine or a beer or two. You know, I'm not going to get drunk. But, okay. You know, Ben, you know, uh, I hear you. But like I'm saying, one day at a time, we can't go down know, and what people are going to be like in 20 years or five years or one year. Yeah. One day at a time. Do you today. Make yeah. your choices today. With choices, there well, are consequences. That's why I tried to come to the last family gathering and the dinner that was awesome that was awesome yeah. so anyway um this got a bit longer than we expected we just really wanted to wish people happy holidays we know um how difficult it can be let's just go one day at a time one minute at a time um and go from there any last words ben um no no um, happy new year Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Um, to each other, man. Yeah, just be kind. Be kind to one another. And uh, we'll see you in the New Year. Everybody take care. And remember, where there is breath. There's hope. Amen. Take care, everybody. Peace. Peace.